Actually, I spent so much time to build this lab since I could not get it authenticated. Eventually, I used the debug radius command to find out that it is the issue with radius server, not the issue with the switch configuration or the client computer. The first issue is I used Microsoft Secure Password and it could not authenticate dot one x client then i figure out that i have to use microsoft protected peap and it works but then the certificate server got corrupted and it fell again at the server side i have to look at the security log to find out the issue so in this section, I just remove the configuration to reproduce the error that I got so you can troubleshoot any related issues. Let's get started. First of all, in the connection request policy, we just open the secure wire ethernet connection. And we're gonna go to the setting tab and as you can see, I just uncheck the option Override Network Policy Authentication Setting. Let's move on to the Network Policy in the Secure Wire Ethernet Connection Network Policy. We just go to the Constraint tab. As you can see, I also remove the Microsoft Protected EAP in this list now just go to the event log in this uh, event log we just go to the windows logs and under the security log we just clear the log so that we can see the new log coming in and find the issue easier clear log and click clear now the log is clear let's go to the client and enable the connection and here we enter the authentication information nslab.1x and type in the password and you can see it immediately show as a authentication failed let's go back to the radius server and you can see it has the event 6273 microsoft windows security auditing and the network policy server deny access to the user. Let's copy it to a text file to better look at it. And you can see it show us with the detailed client information. But the most important thing here is about the policy. And you can see the authentication details is is the connection request policy is a secure wide ethernet connection so you have to take a look at the secure wide ethernet connection policy and on the server nps nslab.com and the authentication time is eap and the error here is the client could not be authenticated because the extensible authentication EAP type cannot be processed by the server because we just uncheck that option. Let's go back to the server and go to the setting tab. Now we just check into this box. Hit OK and go back to the client. We're going to disable and then re-enable it so that it can ask for the username and password now we just enable and here we just keep in the username and password hit ok and it's enable now we just verify the connection between the client and the server and you can see it's still showing as a destination host unreachable because the post have to go to the listening and learning stage still doesn't work and as you can see the last part is is responded now we just ping it again and it's worked so 
that's all about the troubleshooting the radius server you need to go to the security event log and we just to make sure that we have to enable the microsoft protected eab and we have to make sure that we enable the microsoft protected eap and we have to have the certificate installed and configured properly to make the microsoft protected eap to work and we finish for this session.